So. Warning. Approaching also, vessel. this this run has uh, three different glitches right at the beginning of the run. Vessel. Uh, we start the save file from no the save file detected. select as opposed Caution to from advised. play game on the main menu because uh, it allows you to move before this computer talking to you vessel. is. Basically, we're, we're going to get to the first anchor Overlord when normally knowledge. is when we were supposed to be able to start Please moving. Click all the images containing an asteroid. And that's because of starting through the save file for whatever Docking reason. Procedure. And then the setup that we did beforehand by clicking on that um, dialog here. Like, we Three, shouldn't be able to move yet. Two, one. Docking until, like, complete. now. Now we should be able to move. Welcome to your destination. Um, and then the setup that we did before starting this run allows us to go straight to not this anchor, but the next anchor. Otherwise, in casually, you would have to just wait um, for all of the interactions. Uh, and instead, the interaction is going to play during the third anchor. Hello? This this interaction. So this anchor is open now. Someone there. That's that's two bugs that Hi? we've two glitches. Time saves. In the tungries. I can see you standing over there. And then the third one is going to be when we finish this anchor. I'm going to do some menuing Hello? to uh, skip another cutscene. Hello. 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 Byproduct of the, the the skip. Hello. Hello. Whoops. Hello. 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 Yeah, theoretically, you can do that for the entire run if you don't do this skip right here that I just did. That cancels it out. But if you didn't do that, what? you could theoretically yeah. have that play for the entire run. Yo, Bax. Looks to me like you How's it going, man? Entirely. How was the move? Uh, congratulations on winning the comp. Never imagined how much the anchors would mess with the ship's systems when the others installed them. I guess they Here's really some cheese. Circuits down there, huh? Cheese. On the right side, I do now appear to have full access to the annex you're standing in. Now, I know it's a big ask, considering we just met and well, I've already insulted you, but if you keep shutting down the anchors like that, I might have a real chance at getting out of here alive. What do you say? Oh, that was that was nice. Plus, there was uh, two new routes that I found earlier today. My name's Juniper, there. by the way. I get the Looking forward to getting some any percent. Nice, yours, dude. So I'm, I'm excited to, to see what you one. can do with the any percent. The settlement court protocol is to allocate every loyal operative a color-based code name. Unfortunately, no one told you that you should just pick one color and stick with it. Honestly, what so I'm seeing is a negatives. little bit of a mess, so I might need so the to take a different you can't approach touch to the black. You. Red and blue are heroic. And you the are, first set was you know. intro. Um, but those you're supposed are to go to basic, but we're going to do basic respect. later. You've got nothing on basic is basically yours, just truly. a continuation of the intro. When I was a kid, I used to love this book. Uh, these I are would negatives. read it over and over again. The main character was Pluto, a socially inept bear with a can-do attitude. He Ooh. tried his best. We're going to do some more cheese so, here. that's what I'm going to call you. Pluto. Yeah, I like more it. More cheese. We can do that about uh, six or seven times in the run. To uh, take advantage of some forgiving door entries and cheese the R solutions. Save a little bit of time. This is pretty good. Yeah, plus 0, 0.0. It's I will so take nice that. It's nice to have someone listening again after talking to myself for a few weeks. It feels so validating, you know? Like, all I needed was an audience to feel a little more grounded. Having I'm pretty happy time. about uh, already finding like four time saves today just in these sets of levels. I was not expecting that. Um, what was I caught on there? Dude, dude, this is the hardest movement in the entire game. Maybe none of it was real. Is in this anchor. You're real though, right? It's fine if you're not. Not even kidding. I just think we should be honest with each other. This anchor has the hardest movement. It's so tight. These little confines. 
Ah! Bonks everywhere. Yeah, dude, they're so tiny. It's so hard to navigate. And then this this level is cursed. This puzzle. If we if we get through this puzzle without the filament turning black for no reason, I am like, ah. Ugh. All right, here's there's all right. We made it through one spot. Oh, hey, we made it through the level without it getting cursed. Probably gonna lose some time here. Yeah, not too bad. I imagine walking around this ship is a lot like going through a stranger's house. So allow me to put you at ease. Holy shit, I'm 16 seconds ahead? Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Master, if you will, was Canary. She headed up research here. Bax, I just had a PB that died to another bug in the final section of the game on my previous run. For all the systems you see here on the ship, real smart dudes. Then there was Vermilion. He was our well-being. It was uh, it was either gonna be kept us exercising, like a, a 53 or 53 59 or 54 flat is what it was going to be, but I had some sort of bug and I lost 19 and seconds. Me, of course, the so, that was sad. But I'm just going to do even better this time, and then I won't be upset. So, Pluto, despite having been here all but a single orbit, you're already making far more sense of these anchors than I ever did. I mean, honestly, I, kind of I just need to stop losing really 30 expertise. to 60 seconds. If it wasn't helping in me pilot the my ship, then I wanted like, nothing to do with it. And I'll have it, I'll have a giant PB as it. soon as I can stop doing that. The truth, I'm still not sure what these no. things do. They were meant to there stop some spike on some grass. Second that try on the cheese. With the minor side effect that literally all systems are no longer remotely accessible. <laughs> Useful, right? Useful. Right? Ugh, bonks. These are the basic. The ones that you're kind of like supposed to do uh, after. What's the, the first intro. thing you noticed when you climbed aboard? I'll tell you what it is for me. The smell. I always imagined the smell on a ship like this to be, like, clinical, you know? But no. Like freshly cut grass. Yeah. Something to do with the oxygen recycling. Mold. Goes a long way to help you forget you're trapped in a metal box. If only for a second. The endless void out the windows brings you right back, though. Can't do basic movement. Movement is hard. I feel like a pinball sometimes in some of these levels. Just like ricocheting back and forth. There you go. Enjoy the lurk. I will keep making odd noises every time I do something that I don't want to do. So, I've been eating emergency calorie paste for the duration of my time in this cockpit. Do you happen to know how many flavors of emergency yes, calorie paste there are? Yes, I do. Are? I do know how many flavors there are. There are two flavors of emergency These are the pears. Paste. Initially, I figured that eating a different flavor each day was a good plan. But retrospectively, this is not the case. I now hate both these. So you have like end nodes and One then of these intermediary like mangoes, middle nodes. Whatever those are. Bet you can't guess what the other is, though. I'll give you a hint. It spoils when it knows it's being eaten. What do you know? It looks like you're actually getting somewhere. Right, cool. Cool. Team. cool. 
I don't know how Every I Andrew, had you take down Bree's two seconds life into of my console point two up seconds of gold still, but okay. Currently, cool. the bridge door is sealed off, but I think that if I get enough control back, I just might be able to force it open for you. That way, you can come up here and let me out, right? Of course, it's easier said than done, but we can cross that bridge when we get to it. I am behind. Get it? <sighs> Never mind. I wish there was a better solution to this level. This level, more than any other level, is the one that I want a better solution for. Look at this. Look at this. Look at how awful this solution is. Wondering, Pluto, why your hands? Marmalade had similar augmentations to help with his engineering that gold? work, although yours don't look as heavy. I made mistakes. Things. How did that gold? I thought that perhaps you were a scrapper. Hmm. No, you certainly dress like one, but there's nothing to salvage this far out from the colonies. I don't understand. Well, I had an arm swapped out, in case you were wondering. My, my eyes. eyes too. My I'll eyes. I'll admit that the arm was just to get back at my mom for something. Something stupid, I'm sure. I just wanted to drive her crazy. I don't even remember why. My eyes, though. My that's eyes. a different story. My I'll never eyes. be where I am today without them. <laughs> that said, maybe I should start regretting those two. Stop getting caught on the pillars. We need to put some Vaseline on this robot. Do you want to know why we were all the way out here? At the very edge of recorded space? We are Genesis, guiding humanity into that a that golden? Age. To I don't get this game! And alter the trajectory of our species. How do I keep golding? This it is what I was like on my third run yesterday. I kept golding universe. everything and it didn't make any sense. And now I'm doing it again? Oh my god. I wouldn't want to be a part of that. Sounds great. Right? Well, let me tell you what those words really mean. How would you like to travel incomprehensibly far away from everything you've ever known? Okay. There's no way that this, this one does. To allow less I'm, I'm gonna lose like a second and a half. Form new colonies and guide humanity into a new age. Second and a half. Age. Time loss. Sounds great. Right? Oh yeah, great. Point one? You know, the more what is happening? Memories, the more I think... Oh, oh my so god. Darn comfy. I mean, why else would you choose to wear them, right? I get that. This is ridiculous. Unfortunately, How? memories aren't included in the Filament Corporation's stringent dress policy. Oh, it's been years since I last donned a pair. Are these filament uniforms really lacking in storage capacity? No pockets.
Is this the run? Ah, uh, until we get to the airlock and I lose a minute again. That's that's what happened yesterday. And then even the run that I just did right before this that was still gonna PB, I lost over 30 seconds to the airlock. So everything is uncertain until airlock. You might think that being the sole pilot and navigator of this vessel would make me the captain, right? I'm the captain now. Well, no, sadly. It's filament court protocol to assign an off-ship captain, for reasons known only to them. I have a theory it's to prevent a mutiny once all the rations run out and we start eating paste. Our captain is called Swan. It's unfortunate, but the anchors seem to have completely fried all long-range comms, so we're cut off from her for the time being. She's sharp. She could have gotten us out of this, I'm sure. Oh, not that you aren't doing a fantastic job, by the way. I could stop, you know, lady. I don't need to rescue your ass. I just like solving puzzles. I can stop anytime I want to. Ha how? Hey, uh, Pluto? How do I keep golding? I'm wandering around and routing through all of our personal belongings. Do you think you could keep an eye out for the cats? There were five last time I counted. Now, if you're thinking that five cats is a wholly unreasonable amount of cats to keep on a vessel like this, then we're very much on the same page. If I understand it, there was some sort of mix-up when the Alabaster was assigned to ship Pet. The one we received just happened to be pregnant. I am not a cat person, so the sudden appearance of 400% more cat wasn't a welcome addition to my life. Still, I hope they're okay. As much as I hate those self-important furballs, Pistachio really had a soft spot for More them. cheese, please. That cheese is hard. Well Getting that first try is uh, not easy. They're good people, you know? Sure, Canary could be a bit abrasive. Hard-ish, relative so to the other, some of the other cheeses. Intermediate between the two of us. Not all cheese is created equal. It did take a lot of work to get Aubergine out of his room sometimes, but they were good people. Mostly. Pistachio, though, we spent a lot of time together over the last few months. I know she wouldn't have left me here. More cheese. Anchors? Marmalade had a big part in getting them up and running. 39 seconds? Are you kidding They're me? They're still getting to know each other, but from what I can tell, you two have a lot in common. You're about as talkative as he was anyway. You know, we actually threw him a surprise party a few weeks after we arrived. There were decorations and everything. That might not sound like much, but out here, decorations can be a little hard to come by. We had to make them ourselves. Uh, I say we... Pistachio took the lead on that. You never believe it from her personality, but oh my God. damn, Canary, Canary can bake. bake. She made this unbelievable chocolate cake. We all had a pretty great time that night. We needed it, marmalade especially. He wasn't in the best place after what happened with the spacewalk. So during the journey over here, something small collided with the hull. Due to the penis. fact that we were all sound asleep at the time, we what? can't know for sure what the cause was, but the damage seemed minimal. We were lucky. It could have been worse. Still, we figured the best course of action was to schedule a spacewalk to address the issue. As our only engineer, Marmalade didn't have much of a choice about whether or not to go outside. We have a buddy system in place, and he asked me to spot him. I've done my fair share of spacewalks. I knew what to expect. Marmalade, though... He was nervous. I could see him shaking while we suited up. It went okay at first. 
I did what I could to reassure him, and I thought he was holding in there. Then he almost got himself killed. What did I get caught on right there? Weird. Bong 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 bong. Unfortunately, Marmalade's accident was forty-one. Not long after oh, we boy. arrived, I noticed the ship started to slip into a decaying orbit. It seemed likely that it was the result of the damage caused by the collision. So, I was hopeful that our repairs would fix the problem. Not so. A few weeks later, it happened again. Then again. And again. Not a clue as to why. When I told Vermillion about it, he said it sounded like a... Uh, a, a car with its wheel alignment off? <laughs> Whatever that means. Have you ever started to get anxious that you're overlooking an embarrassingly simple solution to a problem? I was there. At one point, I found some old comics that I stacked on a control panel. I almost had a heart attack when I realized what I'd done. It was a relief to find the ship was still drifting after I moved them. Well, you know, kind of. Almost fucked that up. Almost fucked that up. I realized though. I never did get to the bottom of why wow, the ship was drifting more away once. Ow. On my own, at least. Eventually, Canary either got sick of hearing about it, or began to get concerned that I was dropping the ball. She contacted the captain to ask for advice. Not what I would have done, but I got my answer. As it happens, it's a known issue in our model of ship. Crazy, right? More importantly, not my fault. The captain was great about it, too. She could have chewed me out for not reporting it sooner, but she didn't. You could always count on her for that, you know? Not really the iron fist type. A bit of kindness goes a long way. In the wake of Marmalade's accident, it was the captain that sanctioned the extra rations that allowed Canary to bake his birthday cake. <sighs> she's a good egg. No, she's not. So, on the topic of cake, if the ship were a How? Cake, I would start- How did I gold that by six tenths of a second? That is to say, you're about halfway done. 48 seconds ahead? Like a cake, though. What? Your ultimate prize will be to clean up whatever mess Marmalade and Aubergine left in the Yo, bridge up here. Yo, this is crazy. Rather than shame mixed with crippling health problems. I'd take my chances with the cake and give me a choice. How? Really I don't, don't I can't, I, how is there still figures? this much time save in these levels? I, I don't understand. I feel so cooped up in here. I was never one for Vermillion's mandatory workout regime, but I could really go for a run right now. Stretch the legs, you know? It's the most relentless ache. Oh, this is like screens. Like you can't yeah, save time on screens. Check we didn't stray too far off course while we slept. I don't understand. I wake up every few months to keep us on track. This petty ache is nothing compared to what I felt during those course corrections. I've never been a morning person, but that gave a whole new meaning to waking up early.
Nope. I remember before we nope. all went into cryo sleep, we nope. had to check our I don't understand. with our equipment and whatnot, just to make sure everything was in working order. It's not like if something was damaged, we could just order another. Pistachio wasn't interested in doing any of it. But he had this special plant. Ah, I should really remember what it was called as it quickly became the subject of daily conversation. Well, it only flowers something like every ten years. And this particular plant, it was due to flower on our arrival. She was so excited. She spent all our prep time finding Yeah, I mean a something like that. And making sure it had I, I honestly don't it, know. So that when we arrived, it would be healthy and in full bloom. It never did flower but, though. Yeah. We checked the ship's footage. I, I must be. We hadn't missed it. It's a shame she never got to see it flower. No, no, oh, there we go. I, there we go. First, let's fuck up. Two point seven seconds worth of fuck up. Ever since being stuck here, I find myself staring down at the planet for hours on end. You think I get sick of it? Even now, there's just something about it I can't put my finger on. It just pulls me in. I know what you're thinking. Well, yeah, that's how gravity works. But it's more than that. I... I don't know. I haven't even told you about the probe yet. Uh, any mistake there? spent weeks building the probe. Canary headed up its construction. The Lantern 2, it was called. We were all given a role to ensure its success. Mine was to plan its trajectory and pilot its descent. It felt good to work together on the probe, even if it was Canary overseeing it all. So far, all the information we gathered about the planet pointed to it being mostly habitable. It was exciting. We thought we were about to touch down what could someday be humanity's next colony. Well, as per how we do things here, the probe launch did not go to plan. But that's not quite accurate. The launch went fine. It was the landing that left a lot to be desired. I don't know how that goal did. The probe was crammed with equipment. There wasn't a piece of data this thing couldn't collect. But we wanted more than that. We wanted samples. The plan was that once the probe landed on the planet's surface, it would embark from one end of this ravine to the other. Pistachio chose the location. Along its way, it would collect a variety of samples. Once it reached its destination, it would launch a capsule of the samples into orbit for us to collect. Simple, right? So, back to the launch. All was good until the probe reached the planet's atmosphere, when instead of slowing down, it started speeding up. It just kept accelerating towards the surface. We couldn't do anything about it. We were sure it was going to crash. And then it just seemed to fall straight through the ground. What's more, it kept going. We lost signal maybe a minute later. Canary says the heat from entry must have fried its telemetry or something. My guess is that it was doing its best to get away from her. I'm sure you've been on your fair share of space vessels during your travels. Now, you may have noticed that the Alabaster has more origami swans than your average deep space vessel. Well, let me demystify you on the matter. Origami was one of Pistachio's fondest pastimes. And credit to her, she wasn't half bad. Her augmented hands probably helped her out. She started out making all sorts, but quickly found the swan to be her favorite. We'd find them in the weirdest places. She knew we all laughed about it. We'd be given multiple swans a week, all different sizes and colors. But honestly, that's just pistachio. Everything she did was in the interest of making us feel good. I miss those swans. Get it. Do you want to know how this all started? 
I was just thinking about Pistachio some more. All of this, it started with her. After the failed probe launch, things started to go wrong. Equipment began intermittently acting funky, the ship was drifting more often, and Canary's readings of the planet were all over the place. Then Pistachio just disappeared. And I don't mean she ran off or anything. She literally just vanished. She wasn't on the ship anymore. All her stuff was still here, all the escape pods still in the bay. Hitchcock made a movie about that. All we found were the clothes she was wearing on the floor in her lab. And her hands. Crap. All right, mixing. It was Canary who first realized the planet had something to do with Pistachio's disappearance. After the probe, Canary increased the number of readings she was taking on the planet. She had seen an increase of anomalous readings across the board right up to the day Pistachio disappeared. Then they just stopped. For a time. Then the anomalies started to crop up again, but faster than before. We had to leave. If the timing of the anomalies before was anything more than coincidental, then we were in danger. I've never Yeah, that was that was good. Uh, that that so gold makes sense. Before. Not that it mattered. We were all set to leave, but when we tried, we realized we couldn't escape the planet's gravity. It was like it had somehow gained mass. And every time we put more power to the engines, the planet would pull back. Only harder. When we realized that we couldn't distance ourselves from the planet, we had an emergency meeting with the captain. She was as reliable as ever. Calm and collected. Our first instinct was to use the escape pods, as we thought they might be small enough to escape the planet's pull. She told us to hold tight, though. It was her that reminded us where we were. On the frontier. The middle of nowhere. Sure, we could probably escape, but we'd be light years away from civilization, in a canister, with minimal no, that rations, was also good. and no cryo That was really pods. clean. That was a clean Besides, thing, so... If I was wrong and they couldn't that escape makes the sense. either. If we could, we had to keep the alabaster. Aubergine and Marmalade had started work on something as soon as they realized that we were stuck. They pitched it to the captain in that meeting. Ah, uh, that was bad. They called them anchors. With the uh, captain's permission, Aubergine and Marmalade began their work developing the anchors. Indecisive here. I never really stopped to properly explain them to me. Just said that they were designed to block out whatever magic space waves took pistachio. That's that's the hardest level oh, on this that set. that and their short range. Gotta have them everywhere to cover the whole ship. Canary helped them, running around, performing tests, advising them on this and that. I couldn't help. I'm no engineer. Damn it. No scientist. All right, that's fine. What was I supposed to do? Minute ahead, baby. Minute <laughs> six ahead. In that moment, I didn't want to help them anyway. I just it's all about the sleep. airlock now. <laughs> I couldn't care less about helping. Ourselves. It's gonna be, I mean, it's all about the airlock. It's where the place of part installing them. Panels, vents, furniture. Nothing was safe from those two. Cables, everywhere. I was always tripping over them and then taking my anger out on whoever was closest. Not fair of me, I know. I was in a bad place. I'm not proud of how I acted at that time. Soon enough, the anchors were all over the ship, with just one place left to cover. The bridge. That actually meant I could be somewhat useful. I had to pull myself together, sit in the cockpit, and keep tabs on the ship's systems. Make sure the anchors were integrating properly. <laughs> what could go wrong? The door was already closed when they flipped the switch. I sealed my own fate with that one. My whole console flared up and then shorted out. It was bright enough that the terminal keys left an imprint on my vision. My it eyes. Worse. I spilled my coffee in the process. My eyes. I tried running out to the bridge to tell the others, but the door wouldn't open. I kept just mashing the release button. Nothing happened. I never really felt claustrophobic before, but in that moment I did. I had to calm down, slow my breathing. It took Vermilion yelling through the door to finally get my head back together. Then all I could do was wait. This is pretty good. Yeah, 
Nice. We spent a few days trying to get the door open. I'm not sure what the others were doing, but the noise? It was unbearable. The cockpits on research vessels like this act as a safe room of sorts. They couldn't get the door open from the outside, and I wasn't able to reverse the effect Shit, of the anchors that from bug. Here. Bug! <sighs> it's not my, my fault! That wasn't my fault. Then, after a few days... I've reported noise. that one's known just to the devs. Stopped. Probably get patched yeah. next build. Not playing it. Things were quickly getting worse. Just like the uh, There's the no negative. Way to know how long until the next disappearance? Three four issue. No doubt I would have left given the chance. Still, that's time loss. That's not my fault. That sucks. Oh yeah, like I said, I don't blame them. Yeah, four seconds of time loss. The lights on this panel correctly. Because of the bug, be as this is or my almo job like almost all of the time loss was because of the bug. Last time, I'd say you can get into the bridge now. Woo! Woo! Sorry, I can't help it. It's also exciting. Let's go. If you get yourself to the bridge door, we should be able to get this thing open. Huh? I, uh, I, really thought that would work. All right. Okay. I think I know what's up. I'm All going right, to need you to do one more thing. You're going to have to go down to the escape pods and reset the breaker. You'll need this code to get in. Ready? Here goes. 5 5 8 8 3 5 8 one. 3 1 5 8 3 Oh, that was so fast! So the breaker? Oh yes. my god, that was awesome! Let's go! Uh, what the? Oh my god. They, they didn't... They That's the only RNG in the run. I, uh, outside of, will the game just, bug and cost me time? I guess that's kind um, of RNG also. Pull, but uh, intended pull RNG. Intended pull. RNG. The bridge is now open. Bridge is now open, boys. Yeah, that that was a really nice airlock. All right, let's let's just roll through the bridge here and hope that the game doesn't bug out this time. Um, welcome to the bridge. I'd like to say this is where the magic happens, but in this context, the magic would be an inability to drive away from a dangerous planet and save my friends. Otherwise known as my only job. Make yourself at home. There's whiskey everywhere. about where you would be right now if you'd taken a different line of work. Not here, probably. I am looking at the wrong it. level. Oh shit. Made it big on one of the wow. Cars, you know? <laughs> Held down a desk job. Uh, choke. I'm choking it. That would have been more stable. Safe. Throwing for content. You could have started a family. You don't have a family. Do you? 
This is only like that's that was only like the second mistake that I've had in this run. So that's okay. I'm I'm allowed to have two mistakes in a run. They're gonna cost like I don't know six seconds or something. Maybe eight. I'll, I'll say eight seconds. Not even six. Don't want to help me after what you saw. Not even six seconds. I thought for that's sure fine. That you would leave. But here you are. Persistent. You're nothing if not persistent. How many people in your position would go to all the effort? Seven. You try as hard as you have. I appreciate it. I do. You're doing a good thing for me. I wish I could say the same. Super long level coming up. a long level. It's clean though. It was pretty clean. So, that's all you can ask on the long ones. Um, wrong order. It's alright. Not too costly. That costly. From this job. Never imagined this is where it would lead. It's just, I mean, if the Filament Corporation offers you a job, you take it. Otherwise, what work is out there, really? At least, that was what I heard growing up. I guess you're not really the right person to talk about this, are you?
Moonwalking. Swag. just not worth saving. There's not a whole lot I bring to the table that someone else couldn't do. I wasn't particularly useful when my crew needed me. I just said what I could to try and keep morale up, knowing full well there was nothing I could do to help. Kind of like Yo, Golian. Now. Uh, uh runs are good. Things. First run bugged at the end, otherwise it would have been a small PB, and this run is looking really good. Hopefully it doesn't bug again in, at the end, like it did last run. But so far so good. We only have one level left after this. Final level. didn't bug. It didn't bug. Hallelujah. Hey, would you look at that? You're just a step away. You know, I don't know whether I'm ready to meet you yet. There's still a part See, of me didn't that bug. thought we would never That bugged, here. but that was intentional. I kind of come to terms with my See, fate. and now it's going to open up. Before, when it bugged yeah. out, it was already open. I guess I've got to prepare myself for what comes next. And I had to, like, wait a whole while. You really are something, you know? Yeah, so it didn't bug, so that's awesome. We're, we're, we're going to do it. Oh, well, as soon as, as long as the other bug doesn't happen either. There's still one more bug that we have to avoid uh, that might kill the run. This was always going to be difficult. I don't know why you had to do this. What were you thinking? Boarding a filament ship like that? If you just minded your own business. I mind your business. You no. Know, just mind your business. They're always watching me, but I tried. Now here I'm watching we are. you. I had to do this. You understand that, right? Now I'm out of options. It's not up to me anymore. I have to go now. Goodbye, Pluto. Gotta get that frame perfect mashing in there. All right, I avoided the anchor. The anchor bonk.
Hey, it didn't bug. I got no arms, but I got a PB. Don't need no arms to get a PB. We're gonna skip the 53 and go straight to the 52. Cause that's not for me, but it is for you. Oh, come on, run faster, Pluto. Hey guys, wait for me, I'm coming. I'm coming. Fast as I can. I got no arms, but I'm running. Hey. Uh, and I'll have to check. Maybe that's a 34. That's close. That's gonna be close between a uh, a 52-35 and a 52-34. What a run, though! Holy shit, that was a good run right there. Oh boy! Wow. Hot.